were the, the group that was not focused on any particular tax law. We have several people who are collection managers and curators across everything from anthropology to zoology. Um, uh, so, so we kind of went all over the map talking about identifiers again, talking about imaging, talking about data. Um, some of the, the things that I wrote down is new discoveries, revelations, and ideas. Um, some of us, because we're not experts in some of these fields, the squeeze tanks were new, some of the clever ways that people are imaging things in the field were new, so we were excited about just seeing the way that people are collecting data and images. Um, Open Refine was new to, to some of us and seemed like a really, really useful tool. Um, interoperability among some of these tools and um, integration among some of the kinds of tools, so geolocate, working with specified, working with some of these other technologies that we see. Um, Event-based as an alternative to object-based thinking was new and seemed like it was it could transform some of the ways of thinking about data. Um, and that special challenges for some of these individual collections driving some of the workflow development. Um, some of us, because we have broad collections, had been thinking about we need, we need one workflow for many kinds of collections, and it seems like maybe that's not going to work, that if you're doing perps, you need to be thinking about particular problems with perps and color, and that might be different than what I want to do with animals, and maybe that's okay. You don't have to, you don't have to do everything all at once just because we have one big collection. Uh, we have, of course, ideas and practices, document everything and use metadata, and then document the metadata and use metadata. Um, consistency is more important than any given policy or any given workflow. So in some of these cases, it's not going to matter exactly what we do. It's more important that we do it consistently and write down what we did. Work with others at your institution, libraries, other departments, etc., and share ideas and share physical resources. And always add information and labels and annotation. Don't remove information just because you think something has changed or because you think you Unanswered questions. Talk some about what is a collecting event, because we have so many different we have so many different kinds of collections represented, and it's not clear that a collecting event is the same thing for all of those. Some discussion of how all of these interoperable databases, portals, aggregators get updated. What does that mean that we have to do as collections? Do we have to be sending records every six months so the records sort of automatically happening? How often are updates happening? How are updates happening? And then what do we do first? We've got you know seven different types of collections and lots of different types of data. And that's that sort of spoiled on the Anybody else? Thank you. 
But having any image available may be better than having nothing. Um, then the other thing we say we like is uh, geo-referencing collaborations and collaborative corrections are valuable. Noticing that you know, that stream salamander shouldn't be in the middle of the ocean. And you know, I'm saying check your negative sign. So, um, what we received for reinforcement was basically uh, do something, <laughs> get it out.
and the linkages between those packages and the number of the, the diversity of packages and the features that they represent were, were very important to people. Um, some of the reinforcements um, that a lot of museum specimens and data are of very poor quality and that something needs to be done about that. Um, the other thing was that it is vitally important to get your stuff online and to make it visible and accessible to other people. And taking advantage of other people being out there and being able to help you identify specimens, look at images and give you an identification, all those kinds of things are very important. Some of the unanswered questions. Um, I did buy it. What are you and how do you facilitate the process? <laughs> um, you know, one of, the, one of the questions that somebody asked was, if, if you are somebody that was not at the workshop, how do you go about figuring out where do I start and what I do from here? Um, you know, how do I find out about all this stuff and how do I figure out, navigate a path for myself to, to get through the mountain of information that has been generated by, by these things? Trying to get at some very simplistic workflows of, okay, this is what I, what I want to do, how do I do it? And I mentioned to them that we are working on a lot of collections, so we are a workflow um, that will hopefully provide people with that kind of thing, but it was more a sort of overarching question of what is IDBio and how are they going to facilitate some of this stuff? Right? Um, and then the other one was um, my question that I, that I raised a little earlier about these portals. How these portals interact and what are the benefits of joining these portals and how do they link together? So how can I make sure that when I can put my data in a single portal, it's going to be sent out to all of these other portals and where do I actually start? Where's the starting point for me to throw my data in to make sure that it gets the best coverage and goes out to all these different portals? Um, and somehow, potentially, uh, getting IDBio to facilitate that cladogram that I was talking about of showing how all these portals interact and how people <coughs> One of the other tangential uh, sort of discussions that we got onto was um, I brought up a, 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 a query about I would love to take all of the things that are identified into my, in my collection as just SP. Take images of all those things and drop them somewhere online and say, hey, what are these things? And let the experts look at them. And we were trying to think of ways in which we could facilitate that. Uh, Mark was saying that he dropped some of his images on Facebook. And there's a lot of people on Facebook who look at these things and get into discussions about what these various specimens are. But it would be nice to be able to have a portal where people yeah, can do that and drop, you know, unidentified material into a portal that would be somewhat, somehow arranged taxonomically or by geographic region so that an expert could go in and say, well, I'm interested in this particular group. Show me all of the specimens that are unidentified in that group and I'll help people identify them. Um, so something along those sort of lines would be a, would be a really handy thing. Thank you very much.